Hey everyone, it's Marcello here at the Toyota World YouTube channel and I'm at Maple Toyota with a beautiful 2024 Toyota Venza Hybrid XLE. And if you're watching this video, you probably already heard the news that the Toyota Venza is going to be dropped from the lineup after 2024. So you're looking at the last of its kind in this specific model. What do you think about that? We're gonna talk about that just ahead in this video. All right, so let's talk about what we already know. So I've been with Toyota since 2008. Uh, so I know a lot about the brand and about the vehicles and so on. So uh, another reason why you might wanna to subscribe to this channel for the latest, coolest content in the Toyota world. Um, the Toyota Venza came out just after I joined, which was in 2009, and it was a very cool and new vehicle. Right at that time, the crossover type vehicle became a thing in the market, and Toyota made their first dash at it with the Toyota Venza in 2009. And at the time, it came very well equipped. Even the standard basic model came with alloy wheels, came with fog lights, came with a power seat. Uh, driver's seat that is and everyone was very impressed with it and we saw it for seven years until it went goodbye in 2016 and with the current generation Toyota Venza well it came out in 2021 which is recently and now just three years later we're saying goodbye again for the second time which I believe will be the final farewell to the Toyota Venza. I don't think we'll be seeing this model come back in the lineup. Now, did the Toyota RAV4 have anything to do with this? Did the RAV4 take away business from the Toyota Venza? Um, I'd like to say definitely not, at least not in my and our current market here. I remember at one point when the RAV4 hybrids got really hot and popular, um, they were so you know hard to get in terms of wait times that we were flipping our RAV4 hybrid customers into Toyota Venzas because Toyota Venza was still new. It had just came out. Not too many people were aware that it even came out again and what it had to offer. So we had some availability on those. We were changing our RAV4 uh, wait, waiting customers into Venzas. And even at that time, it was difficult to do that. We noticed very quickly that the RAV4 buyer and the RAV4 hybrid customer is a totally different customer and buyer to that of a Toyota Venza. So in saying that, no, I don't think the RAV4 hybrid success has anything to do with the Toyota Venza going away in just as little as three years. Now, when the Toyota Venza left us in 2016, the fully loaded limited V6 all-wheel drive at the time had an MSRP Canadian of $40,470 plus taxes, fees, and freight and PDI and so on. Now in 2024, it's a totally different animal, the Toyota Venza. Of course, it's a hybrid only. Um, it has way more standard features. It's very updated in terms of styling design. It's nothing like it was before in 2016, of course. And that leaves you with a Canadian MSRP on the 2024 Toyota Venza Limited Hybrid, of course, of $51,850 Canadian plus your freight PDI fees and taxes. Now that is a quite a big gap from the 40,000 range that it left us in 2016. Let's get to the demand. Is there a demand? Is there a want and need for the Toyota Venza? Um, definitely, there definitely is, at least in our market here at Maple Toyota. There was a time and place once, not too long ago, where we actually held off on taking new orders and reservations for the Toyota Venza because we were quite backlogged with fulfilling the current orders that we already had that we wanted to just work on and focus on fulfilling those orders instead of taking new ones because the wait times were getting so long. So yes, the Venza Hybrid, there is definitely a demand for this vehicle. So how does this all make sense? Will the Venza ever come back in the future? I think it's very unlikely. We saw it for seven years before from 2009 to 20, 
uh, 16, I believe it was. And then now we've saw it, seen it for just three years. So in that three year window, Toyota has already seen something that basically forced them to make the call that the Venza has to go away. Um, so I don't think Toyota is that kind of company to bring something and take it away so many times. I think this one's indefinite. I do not think we'll see it coming back again in the future. Uh, no, I don't think it has anything to do with the Toyota RAV4 hybrid at all. Um, I don't even think it has much to do with the Crown Signia, uh, to be quite honest, because from what I've seen and read up about of that vehicle or of that crossover, um, it's quite different than the Toyota Venza currently is. It's not really something you can compare, you know, side by side and say that they're, they're the same uh, or that they're quite alike, in my opinion. Um, I just think that there's something else. Maybe there was a, you know, parts supply thing, perhaps with the Venza or maybe something logistically. I'm not too quite sure. I can't comment on that officially. I just know that Toyota knows uh, it has to go and they've made that decision. And it just so happens that the Crown Signia is being introduced. And yeah, it could take the spot or the place for consumers and customers looking for that style of vehicle in a hybrid and not quite wanting the RAV4, you do have another alternative with this Crown Signia. All right, what do you do if you're stuck in a situation where you wanted a Toyota Venza, but now you heard the news of them being no more? Well, for the most part, I don't think you have an option to get one right now because with the current wait times, they're taking north of 12 months to come in because of the high demand and relatively low production of these things. So um, you can definitely try with your local dealer or whoever it is that you're dealing with to place the order. And if it gets fulfilled, great. If not, maybe try out the Crown Signia. But for the most part, the chances of the order getting fulfilled in time is going to be quite slim. We'll catch you in the next video and review. Hope you enjoyed the discussion. Let me know what you think about the Venza going away now for the second time in the comments below. Take care.